after 25 years in a big company, I, I left and threw hand grenades behind me last year, reclaimed my creative spirit, and formed a new company, my own, called MyMD Advocate. I am also the founder of Physician Coach Support. It is a free and confidential platform for physicians to come and get support. I uh, live in Los Angeles, California. I'm a pediatric intensivist. I am a well-being advocate. I saw my residents suffering uh, from abuse. I'm an OBGYN specialized in family planning a reproductive rights advocate and a writer. Specifically, I've recently written a memoir out when I was a doctor on an Everest expedition in Tibet, stretching way beyond my comfort zone. I am the physician founder of Family in Focus, and I am the weight coach for your whole family. I am a blogger. I like to write. I have a huge physician advocate. So I'm a uh, practicing anesthesiologist and a negotiation consultant. What I do is I help physicians negotiate stronger agreements so that they can solve the real problems they're facing. It's a virtual business where I help patients uh, in many different ways and I'm finding actually ways that I didn't even expect. So people who are kind of between uh, different doctors don't have a primary care doctor and need my help. I am uh, double board certified in internal medicine and nephrology. One of the things that I'm doing on the side is medical writing. Uh, but I am a digital consultant. Um, I created SomiDocs and everything that is SomiDocs related, the social media following, um, the strategy around our growth, um, the website, the content within, um, and the community. I. Uh actually had burnout uh, 22 years ago before the terms compassion fatigue and burnout got to be in common use and that's what got me to my current non-clinical role as a physician informaticist. On the side, I am also working with a female-founded credit card processing company that was co-founded by a very good friend of mine. The credit card processing world has not historically been known for its transparency or integrity, um, and so that's what we're here to work on changing. It's hard to know who to trust in this industry. My background is I'm Derm Dermpath, but the focus of my current work is mind-body medicine and as an embodiment coach, because I realized as a dermatologist, I was not comfortable in my own skin and most people are not. My wife and I uh, built a pediatric urgent care that was acquired. In January 2016, I completely quit traditional pain management. I went back to anesthesia, regrouped until I could formulate how I really wanted to serve my purpose. I'm an OBGYN in Michigan, thinking about creating my online course, uh, preparing OBGYN new attendings to pass their oral board exams. I'm a full-time anesthesiologist. I work with a uh, a uh, big group here and in, in leadership and I um, now am starting to build a way to connect docs directly to hopefully position out groups. So many people quitting because they just can't find a job that actually lets them do what they want to do inside and outside medicine. Through the power of words, uh, I love to help healthcare entrepreneurs, um, founders, organizations simplify their message. I believe medicine is a profession. Uh, it's an honored, learned profession. It is not healthcare. I'm a practicing anesthesiologist. Uh, Chief Medical Officer and Co-Founder of CMFI. We're a digital tool that rewards clinicians. So we chose to put the clinician back in the middle of this equation. That they still weren't seeing the optimal results until I added in lifestyle medicine, back to my osteopathic roots and holistic ability to heal. The learner chooses where and when they are learning, who they are learning with. They opt in to reflect and earn credits. They opt in to share the reflections anonymously back with the host. I've taken my experiences as a pediatrician, as well as a lifestyle physician, and now certified uh, life and health coach. And I address the stresses of raising a healthy family at every weight for all of the different family members. Get out badge, not a provider or physician, not a provider on the site, just to reclaim our title, really take medicine back. Healthcare is the corporate cartel, capitalizing on physicians and patients and profiting off of, off of us all. I also have a passion project that I started during the pandemic and it's called Menopause Menu. And that's where I blog about all things menopause and actually it might need rebranding because it's really a lot about aging so guys can enjoy it too. Uh, and I decided that um, I didn't want to be just watching the movie. I wanted to actually be, you know, active and proactive. Planning my next move, but enjoying the time uh, uh, to write and uh, express my creativity. I decided to write a play called The Post Row Monologues, and it will be performed in three weeks with professional actors. <laughs> my last client, uh, just last couple weeks ago, he is an employed physician, and uh, we were able to negotiate him a six figure raise uh, when his uh, employer wanted much less. Soon to come are evolving solutions in healthcare uh, to get people past doing uh, menial task work or be labeled providers and conflated with something below their degree status. Uh, I think a lot of that's gonna involve data and information. Several practices have been overpaying by as much as $30,000 a year. So you don't know until you look. Um, you have no idea really how to compare it because when you look at your merchant statement, it's like reading a foreign language. I guess I should plug, plug HPAC too. Um, I'm also a founding member and investor in HPAC, which is just another great community to um, connect together and free of censorship and free of 
third party intervention. I'm really, you know, reclaiming my power as a physician, taking care of people because they come to me for my experience and my expertise. They value how I interact with them. And that really has a lot of meaning. And in a nutshell, I mean, medical writing is mostly document preparation. It can get pretty close to what your clinical income is. I just pre um, presented at the American Academy of Dermatology, the impact of stress on skin disease. I am launching my podcast officially this coming Friday, August 5th, it's called The Skinny Dipping Prescription. And sometimes the lifestyle is all it takes to get people feeling better. And I am a consultant um, for both individuals and for companies that look to uh, grow from a very unique perspective and angle. The simplification of words is incredibly powerful. I'm working on a way to find a tech solution, to find um, networking solutions that docs can actually connect and kind of more pro proactively create the job and medical job that um, they really want. Lately, I've been writing for so many docs. I just got my second article published today writing about artificial intelligence. My uh, podcast, uh, Family in Focus with Wendy Schofer, MD, um, I'd really like some help with being able to amplify that. So my ask, be aware that we exist and why we exist. If we can provide value to you as you engage with peers and clinicians, reach out. I just got off the Peloton and I will admit that, so. <laughs>